Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack and seeing how it fits on the back of our 2023 Toyota Corolla. Now this is going to be a platform style bike rack that will work with our inch and a quarter hitch. The Corolla only has one hitch option, it's an inch and a quarter class one receiver tube. So your bike rack options are very limited. And if you don't want to go with a trunk mounted rack, then something for the hitch is going to be a lot more stable. And this would probably be my personal recommendation, just because it does hold the bike pretty well and will work with a wide range of bikes. You can carry up to two bikes, 35 pounds each. And with the way it holds the bike, this cradle around the frame and two wheel straps, it's gonna work for alternative frame bikes and kids bikes really well. You do wanna avoid carbon frame bikes just because any sort of frame contact isn't gonna be great for those. And this does make frame contact. There's no tilting feature on this rack, so if you want to get to the back of your Corolla, you're going to need to get the bike unloaded first. We'll go down to the wheel straps for that first. The wheel straps release by pressing in this gray button and pulling that ratcheting strap out on either end. Those wheel straps do a good job at keeping things still because they pull down and in on the bike. You can see just how much tension was released when I pulled that one out. And then the frame strap up here is a thing primarily keeping our bike upright. That operates much the same way with a button and strap. And it doesn't do too much to hold the bike still, but like I said, it keeps it upright. And with all of those straps removed, I can set this to the side. Now, one thing I will say about loading and unloading it is typically with a bike rack that has a center mass here, it's a little bit harder to load and unload because you have to lift over but with how short this is and how low the hitch sits, it's actually not too bad. The mask does fold down, loosening a hand knob on the outside edge and flipping this catch plate back. We can rotate this to either side. And I like to use the strap from the cradle to actually secure it down, just because that's gonna be easier to reach later. And that keeps this mast from coming back up. And this also allows us to open up the trunk, get anything we might need out of the back and have full access to it. Now in this state, I will get a few measurements starting with our ground clearance. That's gonna be the lowest point at the back end, which is actually the outside edges of the rack. And that's gonna be 14 inches from the ground, which considering the ground clearance of your Corolla is actually pretty impressive. I don't think you have to worry about it when you're going up steep driveways and hills, which is always a plus. You don't have to replace these wheel straps either, but I just like to. The distance that we add to the back from the bumper to the furthest out point is only 25 inches. So it doesn't add too much length to the vehicle, making it still easy to drive around with. But if you want to leave it in the hitch between rides, you can pull out this threaded pin near the hitch and fold the rack up, re-thread it, with the newly aligned holes when you fold it upright. The threaded bolt is going to help keep that pivot point a lot more solid, but this will condense things down quite a bit, making it easier to drive around and pull into parking spots. Now only sticking out 12 and a half inches, which is great. If you wanna drive around with it in the hitch, you totally can. You will need to probably fold this down. No, you can still open up your trunk with it in the folded position, which is great. If you keep this on and you go to the grocery store or something, it's not gonna be in your way. And the other nice thing is it leaves your license plate fully visible and your backup camera is mostly visible too. You're probably gonna see the bike rack in the backup camera just a little bit, but not enough to completely block it. And our tail lights remain fully visible too. So leaving it in the hitch isn't gonna be obtrusive. Like I said in the beginning, it is working with our inch and a quarter hitch. It's a class one hitch and just removing the sleeve that's included with the bike rack will allow it to fit in there. It comes with an anti-rattle bolt that keeps it solid in that hitch, no shake or play to worry about, and that hitch pin locks, so it's secure. And if you're considering a hitch mounted bike rack, like I said before, this would be my recommendation for the Corolla, just because it works with a lot of bikes, it's a good quality rack, and it's one of the only options you got with that class one hitch. But that'll do it for a look at the Hollywood Racks destination. Thanks for watching. Here we are on our test course. As we hit the alternating bumps, you can see what it would be like to hit a pothole on the road.
are solid speed bumps that simulate pulling in and out of a driveway or hitting a speed bump in a parking lot. We use the slalom portion of our course to simulate the side-to-side -side movement, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvers.